What's up, guys? This is Super from TechSmartDeals.com, and I'm back with more awesome product reviews for you guys. Let's check out the Minix Neo Z64 Windows 8.1 Edition. Now, Minix is an awesome product already, but now that they've stepped it up to Intel processors as well as GPUs, I'm really impressed, as well as the Windows 8.1. So that's really a step up. I haven't seen another box like this that has Windows 8.1 yet. So let's check out the specifications. As we said, the processor is an Intel Z3735F 64-bit processor. The GPU is an Intel HD graphics card. The memory is 2 gigabytes of DDR3L RAM. The internal storage, it comes with 32 gigabytes of EMMC 5.0. Wireless connectivity is 802.11n and it also has Bluetooth 4.0 capability. The operating system is Windows 8.1, 32-bit. Video output, HDMI 1.4. It has a micro SD card slot as well as two USB 2.0 ports. It's powered by a 5 volt, 3 amp power adapter. All right, let's go ahead and get the unboxing started. And here it is, the Minix Neo Z64 Windows 8.1 Edition. And as you can see, the antenna is connected. So this is just the new design that Minix is doing. It's a lot easier. There's the power indicator. On the right side, it has the power button. It has two USB ports and a micro SD card slot. On the back, it has an HDMI output, AV audio standard definition output as well as an ethernet output and power input nothing on that side besides the antenna let's go ahead and put the box aside and see what else comes in the box now here's the minix neo z64 user manual if you're not familiar with minix products a minix product brochure for you and here's what's included an hdmi cable it's about three feet and here's the 5 volt 3 amp power adapter and that's pretty much it you're going to need to supply your own keyboard and I'll have a few in the description just below you pretty much connect it the same way as all the others just insert the HDMI cable and connect it to your television or display and insert the 5 volt power adapter plug it in your power supply and you can go ahead and insert the USB dongle or receiver that you have for your keyboard and then press the power button on the right side and hold it for about one to two seconds. And this is what it'll look like. Just go ahead and log in just like this. If you already have a Windows account or Windows Live account, you can go ahead and use that to sign in or your Xbox Live account will also work. But if you don't have any of those, just create a new one. Just follow the prompts, it's really simple. Let's check out the Internet Explorer. Now, those of you who are familiar with Windows 8.1, I'm sure you recognize this. It works really good. I'm really impressed with this device. Very smooth, very responsive. Pinch to zoom works on certain keyboards. Right now, I'm just downloading XBMC. And you just click on the Windows version, then click on Run. And here's the progress over here to the left. I went ahead and skip through it right here. And there we go. And as soon as it finishes, it'll bring you to the regular desktop screen like this. You just click on yes. And then click next and follow the prompts to set it up. And you'll have Cody running on your Minix Neo Z64 the Windows Edition. Now if you go ahead and set this up correctly, it'll go on your desktop, click browse, and then select desktop. Make sure that that's all correct. Click OK. And then click next. This way it'll put that Kodi icon on your desktop rather than in your programs file. Then you can just go into the Kodi file and locate this right click. 
and then go to send to and select desktop create shortcut and left click on that now once you do that it'll bring this Cody K icon to your home screen and you'll just be able to double click on it to launch Cody in the future rather than going into that Cody file and so here's the Windows 8 look and you can get to everything you need to just by clicking down right here it has everything that you are used to like I said if you're familiar with Windows 8 you know what this is about you can get to all your settings from right here you just click right there to desktop and you can return to the desktop area and right here is your files and I also downloaded Google Chrome as you can see it works great with this device And you can just sign out right there and this is pretty much all of the files on the device and I'm currently using a 256 gigabyte SSD drive with this device and I'm also using a 64 micro SD card and they're both working great at the same time and this device allows you to set up the default for your downloads rather than the 32 gigabytes that comes with the device you can also use your SD card or SSD drive and I went ahead and used PC benchmark so I can get some benchmark statistics for you guys and here's the results pretty impressive all right, this is Super from TechSmartDeals.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please remember to like and follow at ChargedIOS and at TechSmartDeals on Facebook and Twitter. And I'd like to thank Minix for sending me the Windows 8.1 edition for my review. If you're interested in purchasing, a link will be in the description just below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.